Bună ziua, sunt împreună cu o prietenă din America, sunt de la Biserica Speranța Craiova și mă bucur să fiu împreună cu prietena mea. Îi dau voie să se prezinte. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sydney Cranford. Um, I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee and I am 20 years old. I love Sydney. I love Sydney because she's so natural and I don't know, I just like her. Please, Sydney, tell us how did you get to uh, know God, to get closer to Him? Because I saw your joy on your face and your spirit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, I haven't always known the Lord. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't grow up in a Christian home. Um, in fact, my parents said they believed in the Lord and set up an example for that was um, very passive, very fake, very surface level. Mm. Um, so, when I was a junior in high school, I was really hurt and upset and angry and I was looking for a justice. I was looking mm. for an answer. I was looking for something or someone to do something right because mm. everyone else had fallen through. Um, and I had a friend who invited me to hang out and we met others who had faith and from there I was shown compassion and grace and I was taught that I am not the judge, that there is a higher judge who will take care mm -hmm. of me and love me and all I'm called to do is to love others. Yes, I like how you said that we are not to judge people. Uh, I feel that we as people we judge so many times other people um if you can please tell us what how how do you get close to god what do you do to get close to him or closer to him yeah for me it took a lot of hitting rock bottom getting very vulnerable and honest because mm. if you give him surface level he can only work on surface level but if you have a desire for more a desire for an answer you're gonna mm -hmm. get it from the lord he will provide you ask and he will give in his own time it's not immediately but i think i just gave him all the raw the sensitive the vulnerable parts of me and he made it pure and gold i like this you said you make your, yourself vulnerable so did you encounter in your life when god let you down god never let me down i put expectations in people who let me down and mm -hmm. i blame god mm -hmm. so he never let you down um I've heard some of your friends uh, telling us that Jesus is their friends. How did you experience Jesus Christ, the Son of God, being your friend? Yeah. Um, I just think of um, the description of love and scripture where it says love is patient, love is kind, and all the traits of who the Lord is. And I saw him be a friend in my life when I called out to his name mm -hmm. and he showed up. He wasn't in a physical sense, but in my spirit, there was a night in my life where I hit rock bottom and I was done. I couldn't do anything more. And I had an overwhelming sense of calm and peace for just a moment. And I knew that it was him. Mm -hmm. um, since then, he's been my confidant, my go-to, my person. Mm -hmm. Do you think this friendship will last forever or is only on for this earth? And if you think yes, why? Um, I know I'm going to spend eternity with him because he told me so through his word. Mm -hmm. So I saw you have many bracelets. Can you tell us the meaning of or why do you wear them? Yeah, um, some of them are pretty silly. In fact, some of them are just called silly bands where they just take different shapes. So embarrassing. Mm -hmm. It's not coming off. Anyways. <laughs> um, but there's this one which one of my squad mates gave me and it says you are loved. Mm -hmm. um, because I know that the Lord said that over me before through his word and that's why I tell others when I, they're getting to know Christ that first and foremost you are loved. Um, mm -hmm. Which goes into this bracelet which a lot of people have a bracelet that says WWJD, what would Jesus do? And this said he would love first mm. because first commandment is love the Lord with all your soul, all your mind, mm. all your strength. The second command is love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. Um, and everything else is just kind of funsies. Mm -hmm. And on your head says on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. What means? What's the meaning? Yeah, um, so in the Lord's Prayer, um, it says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so it's a call out to our Father, our Abba, and saying, Lord, like, bring onto heaven, onto earth. Give us a taste of your glory, your goodness. And although this is not heaven, let's make it as close as we can. Like, come to us. 
Yes, how nice to see young people like you uh, wanted to be uh, the kingdom of God here on the earth as it is in heaven. Thank you very much, Cindy. Thank You're you. so sweet. Thank you.